Welcome back to Lights, Mics and Studios. My name of course is uh, Charles de Toy and it's very exciting times that's lying ahead of us. I'm in the process of moving so uh, in not too long from now you will see totally different backgrounds and everything in the videos. So uh, do subscribe to this page if you've not subscribed. Uh, like it and share it. Please it do it means a lot to us if you share the page. Uh, the more you share if you're motivated by something, encouraged by something, the more people we can get to be motivated in it. That what I want to share with you for the next four weeks or so is the ACT principle. Now I know I've shared this in the past, but I want to do it in a bit more detail now. ACT principle, and that is how one pray. ACT is the way how you pray. Now um, what you do is a, it's an, actually an acronym. So it says adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and then supplication. So that's the proper principles of praying. If you want to, and this is not like a, a one fix for all type of thing. This is not the only way that you can pray, but it's a good idea to use it when you start praying. Uh, if you don't know how to pray or anything like that, I consider this the best principle out there. Now, adoration. What is adoration? And that's the focus of this video. When you read your Bible, you can see that uh, we need to adore God. We need to love Him for who He is. We need to understand who He is. And the moment that you understand who He is, you will start to adore Him. Now, adoration is sort of a strange term, because, or adore rather is a strange term, because we think you need to adore parents or adore pets or something. But adoration is actually something that you can have for God. And what I want to motivate you with, you, uh, motivate you with rather, is uh, Job 38. That's Job chapter 38. And uh, from chapter 1 up about chapter 37, Job and his three friends are talking and they're discussing the difficult things that he's been through. And they've all got their advice for him and what he should do. And then in Job chapter 38, it's the first time... God actually responds to Job and he asks him a series of questions and, and that's one of the places in which I love to read and just adore God again. Uh, I adore him for the fact that the way that he describes himself in it. He asks Job for instance, where, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? You claim to know everything. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Um, he also asks him, he says, Job, do you know the place uh, where I hide the thunder for when I call it that it could come? Uh, I've walked in the depths of the ocean. Job, have you done that? Have you walked into the depths of the ocean? Have you seen the bottom of the ocean? He actually asks that. God asks that of Job. And then I get so motivated just knowing how big God is. Uh, Again, like I said a couple of weeks ago, this type of God, you don't want to ask to be your co-pilot. You don't want his assistance. You want to assist him with what he's doing, of course. And another way that you can adore God is just by looking around you. Motivate uh, or motivational videos, videos that get you excited about loving people, sharing people. That's God. That's his heart for mankind, for people. The same thing when you see beautiful scenery. It's God showing it, communicating His awesomeness to you, how great He is. So, if you want to know how to start praying, start by declaring God as something to be adorned, someone to be adorned. For instance, start by adoring God, just telling Him how great He is, how much you love Him and all that. Don't thank Him, don't ask Him for anything now, just adore God. Looking forward to spending some couple of minutes with you again next week in which we tackle the C in the Acts principle of praying.